years. One of the things that's recently come to light is that the young are possibly nursed in the Elkhorn Slough. And they're quite small. And I think I came across one not too long ago. I was on my way to work. And this day, work was out in the middle of a slough. I had to go out. I was early, dark, dark, very early in the morning. It was about 5 o'clock. And I had to get out there. I had my night vision goggles. And I was going out to look at the sea otters, study the otters and the seals. And I had to get down the dock into my boat and out into the middle of the slough. So I'm making my way down, very carefully down the dock, not to slip because it's cold and ice is on the dock. And I'm not paying any attention. And I get to the end, and I'm about ready to get in the dock. And out of the corner of my eye, I see something at the end of the dock. It's dark and slithery and very, very, you know, it could be a sea lion, it could be a small sea otter, it's hard to tell, but I wasn't sure. And the next thing I know, it uncoils itself and slips into the water. My God, I've never seen anything like it. But then there's all this splashing, and it, it, it's stuck, it can't get away. And it's, it's splashing, and I'm ready to jump off the other direction. But then, oh my gosh, this poor animal is stuck on the end of the dock. I have to, get, I have to help it. So I pull out my trusty leather man that I always, uh, always have with me, and uh, <laughs> pull out the knife, and I cut the rope that it's gotten tangled up on. And it, away it goes. My god, that was close. What was that? I have no idea. But I have to get out into the slough. Everything is quiet. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I've got a little tiny boat. It's a dinghy about this big. <laughs> and it's got an electric motor on it. It's nice and quiet. I can't see anything. Now I could use the night vision scope that I have, but then there's, uh, there's some lights in the distance that makes it hard to see. And I could use a flashlight, but it penetrates no further than just a few feet. So I go with my eyes, and I just let my eyes adjust to it, and I follow the loom that's in the distance. And I drift out. I go out, and the next thing I know, I bump into something. Well, it's not moving, but I run myself aground. Happens all the time. So I, <laughs> I reach, it does when it's in the dark. So I reach down and I feel the motor to see if I what I've got myself caught on. It's the mud, so I'm I'm pushing off. But the next thing I know, something grazes mm. my arm, <laughs> and I'm back. I back off to the back, but I hear then I hear a splash in the other direction. So I push the boat off. And I keep going on my way. I'm going, I figure I hear the splash. I'm going to follow the splash. And I go. And then I hear another splash. And I go, oh, they must be in deep water. I'll follow that. And I hear it again. So I keep following this sound. And the next thing I know, I've made it out to my lookout and where I need to be. I get out of the boat. One final splash, and everything is quiet. I think my sea monster led the way and got me out to my spot. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's